Do you like silver? Do you stack silver? Do you collect special sets? Do you collect special silver sets? Do you know what the difference is between a premier and a prestige set? We will talk about silver sets you should know about right after this. How much money do you really have in your pocket? A $204,000 penny found by a teenager. A $10,000 coin found in a Cheerios box. And an $18,000 penny found by one of our viewers. Got coins? JB Coins Inc. on YouTube. Daily videos and free giveaways. Join us today. Hey YouTubers, this is J and B. And in this video, we will talk about silver sets you should know about. The U.S. Mint struck many different mint, proof, and special silver sets over the years. In this video, we will talk about prestige and premier sets, since many of our viewers seem to be confused by them. We will also tell you which ones are the most valuable and why. They both are special edition sets with a short run, but only the Premier set is considered a silver set. The Prestige set is a special edition set, but only the dollar coin in that set has silver composition. Now please don't confuse them with the limited edition silver proof set, which normally contains 11 coins. They're different from both of these sets, and we'll talk about them in a separate video. Nevertheless, both issues are extremely beautiful and very collectible. So, let's start with the Prestige Proof Sets. The Prestige Proof Sets were issued for collectors as an enhanced proof set with a commemorative coin produced that year in a more elegant presentation leatherette binder. They were produced from 1983. This is a 1983. The packaging was a little different back then. C of A. Had the date on it. A little snap. And then you would open this get the cardboard out of the way there we go this is an Olympic you can see they're all all decams it's got the Olympic commemorative and this display is set up so that you can see front and back and there's the eagle from the Olympic commemorative so beautiful set but a little different from the next one that you'll see when we get to it. <clears throat> so they started with 83 and they continued until 1997. This is a 1997. So in 1997, again, Certificate of Authenticity. And they made the case and everything kind of match. So this is the 1997 Prestige set. And again, beautiful decams on all the coins. And we got to flip this one over to see the reverse. This is called the Botanic Garden Commemorative. And you see there's no clasp and there's no date and it's a little bit little bit classier presentation very pretty green uh, velveteen type finish that matches the packaging so that's the 97 botanic commemorative prestige set The only year the set was not produced was 1985 because the Mint did not produce a commemorative coin that year. 
Each set from each year includes proof coins from all the circulating coinage from that year, like you saw, along with the commemorative dollar, which is produced in silver, and in a few cases, a commemorative half dollar. All of the coins were made in San Francisco and bear an S mint mark. Other coins in the set are the penny nickel dime quarter, all struck in clad composition, but all decams as you saw. What made the prestige proof sets unique besides the included commemorative silver dollar was the presentation. The sealed holder of the coins was placed in a leatherette folder that included the certificate of authenticity in a matching color box. Truly beautiful sets, but like with everything, they have different minages and different values. Also, many half and dollar coins from these sets were taken out by collectors and graded. In many examples, one coin from any set can pay for the entire set with premium. Because of the short run, it's very easy to collect these sets. The highest mintage of them all was the set struck in 1986. This is the 1986. Same thing, kind of a different kind of fabric on there. It's got the C of A and description. It's like, it's like what? Okay. okay. So this one has Liberty, Ellis Island up there on the dollar, and then the Liberty commemorative half dollar down here too. And again, some beautiful decams. I mean, not that any of them are slacking, but from this angle, this quarter is just amazing. Then they made the edge kind of shiny silver, kind of dress it up a little. And then on the reverse, again, you can see the coins. There's Ellis Island decam on the reverse. And there's United States of America, the dollar silver dollar with give me your tired your poor your huddled masses yearning to breathe free from the statue of liberty the whole idea was to make these as classy and beautiful as possible and I forgot. so this one is one of the highest minage uh, sets in the in the series but it's also one of the most desirable because so many people have a connection to the ellis island commemorative coins so they're very special to a lot of folks so this one is a high mintage and very favorite of many. It is an absolutely beautiful set. The mintage of this set is 599,317. The lowest mintage, on the other hand, belongs to the 1996 26th Olympic Games dollar and half dollar set. That would be this one. The minage is only 55000 making this also the most expensive of all. And there's the C of A. And the cardboard here is obviously to protect the faces of this because this is, you know, they don't want anything scratched. So there's the Olympic silver dollar commemorative, the Olympic half dollar commemorative, and the traditional Kenny half dollar, as well as the rest of the decam coins. They're all decam coins. And then the cardboard protector, and we flip it around, and you can see Atlanta Olympics 1996 decam dollar coin and half dollar commemorative for the Olympics as well. So this one, as I said, only has 55,000 mintage. And it is obviously, for that reason, the among the most expensive of all. You'll need to pay between $300 and $500 for this set alone, depending on your selling source and the condition of the coins. So remember that just like with any coin or coins, the condition will have a huge impact on the entire set's value. You should never buy this set without seeing it in person. 
unless you are buying from a reputable source. Unfortunately, many of the coins in these sets are not always perfect. They can have milky spots or a color. They can have discoloration, tarnish, etc. Now don't confuse tarnish with toning, also called rainbows. What you don't want is a coin with tarnish on them, because, but toning will bring the coins extra value. Another tip is when the coin's in a capsule, if it has any discoloration or imperfection, even a small one, it will only get worse over time and get larger. So don't buy that set. Move on and try and find one in better shape. You can see how pristine even the box on this set is. That's important. If you can get one with the box in beautiful condition when you're buying a set, all the packaging, original and pristine as if it just came out of the mint. That's always going to add value. Also, if you're planning on buying just one set, don't go for the cheapest one. There's usually a good reason for it being the cheapest one. You might not see it, but the seller probably does. When we buy these sets, we go through hundreds of them and sometimes we end up not buying any. And by the way, from time to time, we do have them for sale on our auctions. So if you're looking for them, check out our auctions. As of now, we have live auctions on Tuesday nights and Saturdays right after our half dollar coin roll hunts. So the lowest prestige minted set, like we said, is the 1996 set and another prestige set with very low mintage is the 1997 botanic dollar set that we showed you. The U.S. Mint produced only 80,000 of them. Now, let's talk about the Premier set. The Premier sets were first issued in 1992. The year 1992 marked the 200th anniversary of the U.S. Mint and as part of the celebration, the U.S. Mint released silver proof sets for the first time since 1964. The premier silver proof set was the first high-end or deluxe presentation set ever released by the U.S. Mint. And the silver series was issued for only seven years. This one has a snap on the side. And you open it up, and it says on here, United States Mint Premier Silver Proof Set. Then you can pull it up that way and look at the coins. And, of course, they're all decam if, they're, if they've been kept in good shape. And then you pull it this way to see the reverse. So you can actually lay this on a table somewhere and... Okay. So that's the 92. One of the special features of the Premier packaging, which was noted on an instruction sheet, was the ability before the presentation case to be arranged to display the coins in an upright position. The set contains five coins, a ha silver half dollar, silver quarter, and a silver dime, and then a nickel and penny. The first year of issue was the highest mintage since the product was very popular and the U.S. Mint struck 308,055 sets. The lowest mintage was the 1995 Premier set with 130,077 sets minted. The last Premier Silver Proof set was offered in 1998. After this time, the product was discontinued ahead of the launch of the 50 state quarter program. They are amazing, and the same applies here. The condition is very important of the coins, the box, the packaging. It all matters. Also, try to get them not only in the original package, as we said, but with the COA and other paperwork that came with them. This applies to any special issue coin 
OR set, not just the Premier set. And again, you can look at how deep the Cameo is on these coins on the front and on the reverse. Look how red that penny is. And you can make this into a display as well. And these are the instructions of how to make it into a display. So, what do you think about them? And which one's your favorite? Like we said at the beginning, we really like both issues and do collect them. And remember, they're amazing sets, and breaking them up might not be for everyone, but since in many cases that one coin in those sets is worth more than the entire set, it might be worth doing so. And if you like silver coins, please watch our video about the super valuable silver 1976 Ike dollar. It's linked at the end of this video. You might be nicely surprised how valuable this coin is. We also would like to say thank you to all of our JB Coins Inc. members. If you'd like to join our JB Coins Inc. family as a member, please follow the link below this video. We greatly appreciate your support. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Also, please remember to hit the little bell and set it so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video or do a live stream. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video, live stream, or auction.